And now the Minister of Interior, Ogbeni Raouf Aregbesola, have stated that statelessness is a global phenomenon in which a person is not recognized as a national of any state under the operation of its laws, human rights, developmental peace and security issue, which affects the dignity of vulnerable persons at risk level, strips affected persons of their human rights and portrays them as worthless. The minister disclosed this on Friday in Abuja. Maliki Duro has more. At the launch of the National Action Plan and the inauguration of the High Level Steering Committee to eradicate statelessness in Nigeria, the Minister of Interior, Obeni Ralph Aregbesola, said, A stateless person without allegiance or commitment to a state remains a veritable risk, especially when statelessness is caused by war. This will reduce existing situation as well as preventing cases of childhood statelessness. As it relates to children of naturalized Nigerians. B. Chapter 3, Section 26, Section 1 to 2A states. So, to the program of this Section 28 of this Constitution, a person whom the program of, of this section applies may be registered as a citizen. As the citizen of Nigeria, any woman who is Speaking earlier, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Sadia Umar Farouk, said a stateless person is not detained by the high level of patriotism, love and sacrifice for fatherland and therefore owes no allegiance to any nation. A stateless person, while Brazil and Ecuador make laws on the rights of stateless persons requiring the establishment of statelessness determination procedures. And Chile, Costa Rica, and Panama have all implemented reforms to verify or review people's birth registration and ensure appropriate registration and access to documents for proof of identity. While lending her voice, Minister of Women and Affairs Pauline Tallinn and Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Interior Dr. Shwaibu Belgore explained that we should recognize that it is an unfortunate situation foisted on affected persons by circumstance. Circumstance is the issue of denial of admission to qualified children to access education. Eradicating these issues of statelessness, as indicated above, and the impact it will create on women, children, and the vulnerable groups in the society will go a long way in addressing gender inequality and discrimination amongst groups that forms the mandate of the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs. The National Action Plan provides steps to resolving existing situations of statelessness and prevent new cases as prioritized in the following five key areas of research, advocacy, sensitization, preventing childhood statelessness, addressing statelessness caused by transfer of territory, eradicating gender and other forms of discrimination in recognition of citizenship and issue of documents and protection of stateless migrants or refugees. The Minister of Interior called on all nations to invest in national peace and prevent especially statelessness caused by war and armed conflicts.